So what I want to do today is go over a few of the things that I did with the car just to get it where it is. Really nothing's changed for the most part, but we did get the intake bolted down good. I want to show you guys some tips and some tricks. Most of you already know, but for those of you that are kind of new, let me show you how to get these things to go deep enough in here to where they don't just come out every time you try to unbolt your carburetor. We're going to use the double nut method. Take two nuts, just run them down like this, one on top of the other. So you hold the bottom nut and then you take the top nut and you just cinch the two down pretty tight. Now all you got to do is just take your top and spin the whole stud because all you're doing is just locking those two in together. Hold the bottom nut. Here's the trick to it, to not take the stud out. Hold the bottom nut, loosen everything up and there you go. So I'm not sure if this is unique to just this particular cable because I never knew this. But if you'll take your cable, slide the, the spring down a little bit like this and separate the top here. See this little plastic sleeve? Separate that. Now look right here. This thing just comes completely off. So it just slides in there like that. Basically, it just covers that hole up right there. Just covers it up. So that will allow you to slide it through one of these fittings here. Remember, this is an 82 to 86 throttle cable, and that's pretty much it. It's gonna mount to our bracket that we've got. Good to go. Uh, I drilled and tapped a hole in for a little barb fitting on this spacer right here because I didn't realize it until, well, I thought about it beforehand, but then I forgot and I installed the intake and I really don't have a good spot to drill my intake, just the way it's made. So I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. If you look at this intake, there's really nowhere good to put a fitting. You might be able to get a fitting in right back here. I could probably come in right here with one, but that would just look weird. So I chose to put it on the spacer. So I'm sure you're probably gonna ask yourself, well, what about your brakes? You know, you're gonna be putting boost back through everything. I've never had an issue. That's the way this was ran before through the other intake, essentially in the same spot, the back of the intake. So I did go ahead and get some of my fuel lines done. So this fuel line just comes around. It's gonna go there, actually back there like that. And then this one's gonna go right here on the carburetor. So I've got the throttle cable hooked up on it. And I've got all the fuel lines ran. Let's go ahead and see if we can get this thing to bust off and idle. I hope it will. So obviously we got way too much fuel pressure. So we may have a stuck needle and seat because I didn't see the front bowl do that. So let me look everything over and then we'll go from there. Only thing I did was tap on the rear needle and seat adjustment back here and it looks like it's fine. This carburetor probably hasn't been ran in a while. So let's check it one more time. Now this fuel pump, as you can hear, is still running um, off of the factory settings as far as how long it runs before the car starts. So it only runs for like five seconds. So, all right, let's go ahead and try to start this thing and see what happens. <laughs> our first real startup uh, it's only spun over a couple of times and, and tried to start but that is it so we did it and guys it is all being controlled with the Holly Terminator X so this will be our first start with the carb hat on and I'm curious to see how it's gonna run with that so Let's go ahead and bust it off.
So as you can see, the car is running behind it. I want to go over a few things with you to let you know what the Terminator X is controlling. So at the moment, our electric fans are working perfectly. They are programmed to come on at different temperatures. And all that's working just fine. The ignition is working fine. It will still advance timing whenever it senses boost on the map sensor back here. So all I have to do is hook up my fuel pressure sensor and we can still monitor fuel pressure. We can monitor oil pressure, engine temp sensor down here, all that's good. So I'm gonna do some quick revs. Uh, the carburetor is not tuned yet, so uh, there's a couple things that I'm gonna have to change. I've already adjusted the squirters, so the accelerator pump, I've adjusted that. But outside of that, I mean, the car runs really good. I'm not gonna get carried away with it, but I will rev it up just to show you that it all works. This went a little better than I expected. There are a few things that you're gonna to need to know, but I'm gonna do a video of a step-by-step -step process of kind of what you're gonna need and what this thing can control. It's really hard to condense all this stuff down into one good video, but I'm gonna do my best. And that way you guys know what all the Holly can do, uh, what I've done to make my stuff work. It's actually very, very simple. As of right now, our fuel system is working perfectly. It's returning enough fuel and we can regulate this thing down all the way to zero if we want to. So it's set at about five or six pounds right now. There will be some adjustments that we need to do with the carburetor, but overall this car is drivable right now. You can get in this thing and probably go almost anywhere you wanna go. But of course there's a few things we need to kind of clean up, wiring and such. But with all that being said guys, so far this has been a success. And if nothing else, this proves to you guys, this proves the point that it can be done. All of this stuff still works the only thing you can't control is your fuel so 18 degrees of timing is not a lot so although it is locked out right there let's change that to 30 degrees of timing you can instantly tell that the car changes tones you could do the same you could go down here to 10 degrees of timing all right here we go my seat's half-assed, bolted down. 